Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we got a package in the mail. I'm so sorry that this took a while to come in, but we finally got our next Player It's Kai figure in the mail. So let me just set you down here and I get this box open. And there's our packing slip. Let's get the figure. Box is stuck. Okay. And we've got the security officer in the mail. The Shinra security officer. So I'm going to go ahead and get this box opened. I've only got Two more player skies to get now from the um, from Square Enix, and that's my uh, my two motorcycles. I've got to get my last two motorcycles. But here is the front of the box. There's the sticker of authenticity. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box. Here is the other side of the box. Here is the bottom of the box. Here is the top of the box. And then opening up the box. There's our display window with our figure. And over here, here's a picture of the soldiers. And here's where you can read about the soldier. The uh, Shinra security officer. But yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the security officer open. So we're going to open up our security officer. Here is the um, packaging that he comes in. Here's our instructions. So first of all, we'll look at pack one, which pack one, as always, is the stand. Pack two is the figure itself. And we got a whole lot of goodies with this figure. Look at all these accessories. So let me go ahead and get Pack two open. I see his uh, switchable waist piece. That's going to be fun to do though, because I really hate taking figures apart. All right then. So our first thing that we're going to show off is the hands. So let's look at the hands first. This is pretty awesome. Now this is actually surprising. These are motorcycle hands right there. That it's. It gave us. It gave us motorcycle hands, which that's surprising. They never do do that. They always make you pay for the figures that come with the motorcycle hands. So, yeah, he's got motorcycle hands for some reason. But anyway, here are the hands that you get on this uh, clear base. Now you can see them are motorcycle hands. That's very interesting. Now that's making me think that they're going to make a motorcycle for this one. Or maybe I can put him on the motorcycle when I get the uh, other uh, Shinra um, officer that's on the elite officer that's on the motorcycle when I get him. We got some hands right here. Now we're going to take a good look at this grenade because this grenade's got some major detail in this grenade. So let me zoom in. And we're going to look at all the detail in this grenade. It says Shinra MM. And it's got the company logo on the grenade. Now this is the second figure I got that came with a grenade. Because the Jesse figure also came with a grenade. 
So those are the hands. Here is the switchable waist piece, which I'll be putting on mine because I'm going to put mine in the uh, pose where he's crouched down on one knee, getting ready to fire his gun. That's the pose that I'm going to choose for mine, but you can see all the detail in this. All the belt buckles, the little buttons, the belts, the snaps, all that good stuff. You can see all the detail in this. But we got that. Weapon-wise, we got uh, the beaten stick. We got the little beaten stick, or whatever you want to call it, beaten stick baton. Night stick. And the thing about this is, I saw other people's YouTube video. Yeah, this right here pops out to get it in his hand. And then it pops back in. So, we got that. We have a stun rod. If I can just get the stun rod out. Come on. We have a stun rod. It's got like a translucent plastic. Why is the camera losing focus? Of all the things, the camera has to lose focus. Hey, I'm in here. Let me just... Where's the lens? Let me wipe off the lens. Come on, camera. Don't do this. Get it over here. There we go. Now we got focus. But yeah, this is the stun rod. So we got us a nice stun rod. We also got a nice shotgun. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't cock. <laughs> Be pretty cool if it would have cocked like one of them hot toys. But yeah, we got a the shotgun, which is very, very detailed. And then we have his um, machine gun, which I'm very surprised because uh, I've got the old cloud figure that came with the machine gun from the original Play Arts, and it has a strap. But I'm very surprised that it, they didn't give us a strap with this one. It's got the strap holder, but we didn't get the belt strap. But yeah, here's the machine gun. I'm just very surprised, though, that we didn't see the the belt strap with that one. Then we've got the figure himself. And this is going to be the fun thing because, you know, plastic as usual. But here is the figure. And he is very, very bulky. So, first things first, we got to deal with all this <sighs> annoying plastic, as always. They've got it shoved in his waist at two areas. Right down here. I'll try. Take the exacto blade and cut that. Then we'll try to rip it straight up. I think I got it. I felt it break. Come back here, blade. Yeah, I got this plastic. Alright, that's one plastic. Next one is in his waist. And don't think that worked. We did it. Okay, we got that one. Now the next two are around his shoulders as usual. You always like to put plastic in the shoulders. Taking the exacto blade, cutting the plastic, then we're gonna pull it to rip it. Alright, we got one. That one's out. And then we've got another plastic in his shoulders right here. Basically, the trick I'm using is just take the X-Acto blade, slit the plastic. You just slit the plastic. And then you grab it with both hands and then you pull it straight down. And then it usually, sometimes it don't, but most of the times it rips 
right at the seam where it connected and then it allows you to get the plastic out that way which this one did not do right sometimes you'll come across that problem so if it doesn't do right the first time you gotta try again come on that time I got it All right. Now he's got some plastic around his... Good grief almighty. Plastic around his head. Plastic around his scarf. Ah, they want you to take the whole entire head off to get this off. Which y'all know how I am. I don't like doing that. So if I can get away with not doing it, I'm going to try my best. Let's just hope this plastic rips. Okay, I ripped the one that's under his scarf. But how do I get it out of there now? That side came out. Well, I can just get this annoying plastic. Oh, great. <sighs> okay. The plastic is now out of his scarf. Now we just got his head. Ay, ay, ay. Ow. Yes, it ripped. Yeah, didn't get it. Try again. Tell you, it's it's plastic that makes it difficult to get. Got it. Okay. So articulation-wise, we'll start with the head first. I mean, you can look at the detail in the face that looks exactly like from the game, but the head can look up and down. It can go a little bit side to side. It can turn left and right, but it, it is hindered because of the bulkiness of the helmet touching the scarf. These are on um, hinges. They're like on a, um, like a ball hinge, I think. Let me see here. No, they're on hinges, actual hinges. And then it's got these um, separate shoulder joints. Uh, these are made together, I think. Yeah, those are made together. But yeah, it's got these separate shoulder joints. Um, the arms can go up. They're on this ball peg. They can swivel. He has double jointed elbows. He has a swivel. Does he have a swivel right here at the wrist? No, it's just the way it looks. Okay. He has a swivel in the hand. He has hinges in the hand. It's like that for the other side, too. He's got the butterfly joints in the um, shoulders. Up here at the chest area. He has a swivel. Down here in the waist area. He has a swivel but mine's a little stiff. He really doesn't give much. I guess the bulkiness of the armor. Yeah, this one really doesn't give much. I can't really get mine to crouch down or get any movement in the... Maybe if I could do this way a little bit. Yeah, it's not much. It doesn't give much because he's so bulky. But you can see there. The bulkiness of his outfit is hindering him from his movement. Of bending backwards, bending forwards. His legs. 
can go up to about that high right there. He's hindered because of this um, outfit piece. He can go back about that much. he be able to kick out. Yeah, he can kick out about that much. He's very, very hindered. He's got a swivel up here at the top of the leg. He has double jointed... Maybe? No? Does he? Not much, no. He only has a knee bend about that much. And that's not good how that happened. My knee thing popped off. Is that supposed to happen or no? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Great. Well, I'll figure it out. Let me see here. How's it go? Probably the other way. Hang on a minute. My knee thing popped off. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I just got to do is pop it back on. There we go. Don't think that was supposed to happen, but I got it fixed. I'll have to watch out for that. All right. But yeah, the knee, the knee uh, cover popped off. I'll have to watch out for that. If it falls off again, I'll have to super glue it on there. He's got this uh, thing on his uh, leg. It, um, it's got a swivel. It can turn. This is where you would put your uh, baton or beating stick. Down here at the feet. He has these ball joints in the uh, feet. And they have the hinges. And for the first time in a while, we finally got another one that has the toe points. Which, that one's stuck. Let me try this other one. Dang. They're both stuck. Hang on. There we go. Toe points. So, yeah. All in all, this is a pretty good figure. Just I hate when mine had a kneecap thing pop off, but hopefully that'll stay now. If it falls off again, I'll have to contact Square Enix and let them know about it. Then they'll probably have to send me another replacement, which would suck because that'll be another long wait. But hopefully we're good. But yeah, we got the soldier figure now. Does this boot move? I don't think it does. No. Only the foot does. Okay. I figure that leg right there will twist. That leg is supposed to twist. There we go. There we go. That's better. Trying to straighten out his foot here because it looks a little bit crooked. Come on, dude, stand. <laughs> anyway, this is the soldier figure. And we'll look at the instructions too to see what all he does in the instructions. Just in case I miss some things. Okay, there's the replaceable waist, which um, it looks like it made, they made it easier on this one to replace his waist. You just pull it straight out, and it's got a huge peg. So it ain't got no little tiny flimsy peg to snap into. That's good. I like that. Okay, so the handle of the gun comes off. The handle of the baton comes off, or the beating stick. And... Yeah, so apparently they have like a humongous, that's why it didn't swivel. They have like a humongous peg in here. 
good God, even though when they say that, it's still hard to get apart. Ah, Lord have mercy. Really? Oh, got it. Yeah, it's a humongous uh, peg that inserts in there, but still, I don't like pulling on that. I really don't like pulling on that. But I did get it. So let me just pop him back together. So that's why your um your soldier figure does not have a um like the other player it's Kai figures had where they can actually have like um movable in the waist and they can tilt forward and tilt uh backwards. This one does not have that. And that's why. So be wary of that. He does not have the um the tilt forward and backwards capability like the other player's Kai figures have because of that design that they put in his waist where he comes apart. Which is alright to me. But yeah. He's back together now. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope y'all are doing safe during these troublesome times and you all have a blessed one, and when I come back, we'll be going over the Titanic weigh-in video. But until then, goodbye.